So you get an awesome idea for a miniature, but you look around online and you can't find anything like it. Or maybe you've got a whole bunch of different miniature pieces that you didn't put together, all from different sprues of stuff that, you know, had different variations. What do you do with those? Today, we're going to cover that. Hey guys, welcome to Dice Junkies Paint Lab. My name is Tim with Eldritch Asha Studios, and today we're going to be talking about kit bashing. Before we get into that, I want to make sure that you go and you hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be kept up to date whenever we post new videos. And be sure to like us on Facebook and on Twitter. That way you can see what we're going to be doing next. But getting back to the subject, kit bashing. Um, it is basically a part of the modeling hobby that has been around for ages. You take one model or kit and you use it to customize a secondary model. So people have been using that with model cars, trains, planes. Um, it's, it's even used in like RC, um, but it has definitely fallen over into the miniature side of the modeling hobby. And it's really cool. You can use it to uh, use up any sort of bits or parts from other models that you that you have left over. You can also use it if you let's say that you have you see this really cool miniature that everything looks really cool on it and it's holding this sword, but you really wanted to have an axe. It's fine. Cut the axe off of another miniature. Put it on there. That's kit bashing. It's all about customization and it's fairly easy to do. Um, today we're going to be going over the different steps and I think we should go ahead and get into it. So we'll start off with a few of the items that we're going to need to do this. First obviously some glue. Glue everything together. We're going to use this jewelry file. Obviously an X-Acto knife. That's good for cutting, chopping up some of those bits. Sanding stick, we'll use that to get rid of some flash and uh, smooth everything down. And a pair of clippers. There's going to be a few others that we use, but we'll get into those later. So this is our first miniature, the Horned Hunter. I really like the legs and the torso of this. But we're going to remove the helmet, uh, that bow, the arrows, and use that to make a customized figure. We'll get rid of all of that and leave it as it is. Second miniature that we're going to be chopping up today is Anvil Thrystamped, another bones miniature. Really the only thing I'm concerned about this is the axe and I'm going to be using that axe on the secondary figure that we're going to be doing today. This is another bones figure, the Hell Knight Order of the Scourge. I really love that chained whip so I think I'm going to use that with the Horned Hunter body. And then this is an Antarctic Explorer, another Bones miniature, one of the older ones. And this one, yeah, it's going to be interesting. You may be able to see the theme. So these are bits from Brayherd's Gores from Games Workshop, um, specifically uh, Age of Sigmar. I'm going to use the head, the horns, and that bone. I think it's going to be really cool. Alright, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do, and I'm going to do this with all the miniatures, clean off any flash, any extra bits, file it down, sand it down, make sure that everything is smooth and everything is a good miniature. If you haven't figured it out by now, what we're going for is a little bit of a Christmas theme. I'm going to use these pieces as well as parts from everything else to create Krampus and Santa Claus. So now that everything is done, we're going to start with that headpiece. And I'm using a little bit of Citadel's plastic glue. This is kind of like a cement that is going to both melt and bind the pieces together. I'm not going to use it with the bones because it doesn't work like that. Uh, we're just going to use a regular uh, CA glue for that. But these should stick together rather well. All right. Now let's get to cutting pieces away. Get a flat side and the edge side. And you always want to make sure 
that you use the flat side for the part that is going to connect. We want a smooth connection. So we chop that bow off, get rid of that, and we'll move on. We'll go ahead and take off those arrows, but first you want to make sure that you sand it down. All right. Arrows, we don't really need the clippers for. Um, they're not held on too terribly well. We're gonna chop that off. Just kind of give it a twist and pull. And I like that sword. Let's keep the sword. We're gonna just use our X-Acto, cut that off, be very careful. Use your cutting board. You don't wanna cut yourself on this. Now, once that's done, we're gonna do the head. Again, make sure that the flat side is against the body because we're gonna be keeping the body. And we will just decapitate the horned hunter. Pull that off, get that good, all right. Trim off anything that's left over and let's move on to that whip. Like I said, I really like that whip we're going to do the entire hand with the whip because we cut off the hand from the horned hunter. So if you can see the flat side is on towards the hand this time because the hand is actually going to connect the other way. If you don't do it the if you don't do it this way, it's actually going to leave kind of a, a, a ridge and that is not very good for getting a seamless fit. All right. Now that that's done, we've got the Horned Hunter. When I'm gonna give him this bone. Krampus needs to be gnawing on a good reindeer bone. He's pissed Santa off. So, for that, since it's gonna be in the other hand, I'm going to chop off the middle part of the bone, and we're gonna put the top and the bottom to each side of the hand itself. So just chop off that top like this. And then the bottom half, we're gonna trim it out just a little bit. Don't want it too terribly long. Chop that off and we are good. Now, moving on to our second figure. I love that ax. We're gonna use it for Santa and as you can see, I'm kind of looking over the Arctic Explorer for Santa for this one. I'm going to chop his hand off first. So that mitt, that kind of glove there, it's connected to both the arm and the body. So we're going to need to go ahead and clip top part of the hand and then turn it over again. So you want the flat side for this because we want a smooth adhesion. Yeah, go ahead and give it a couple of cuts. That should pop off pretty well. Now that one is going to definitely take some trimming. We'll use our X-Acto and then our file again for that. All right, so that looks good. We'll do the ax now. And, oh, almost messed up. Again, flat side to the part that you're going to glue. All right, so now we should have all of our bits. Just gonna do a dry fit real quick, see how much I need to shave it down. It actually fits really, really well. The other thing is to go through and make sure that any flashing, um, any seam lines, anything like that, you go ahead and cut off, trim down, be good to go. All right. So, since these were not meant to fit together, I'm going to pin them. So I have my pin vise here with a very small drill, and I use paper clips. Uh, they're inexpensive and they work really, really well. So I'm gonna dry fit this onto the torso of the Horned Hunter, see exactly where I wanna fit it, and then we're just going to simply drill directly into the base of this gore head, this goat man head. Once we've got a good hole in there, 
pull off any of the shavings left behind from the drill and then just dry fit and as you can see it just fits in there it should be a very tight fit and it looks good all right so with that dry fitted we need to trim this down but first I want to be sure to glue it now you want to put the glue on the actual pin itself so that it slides in there and it's going to here adhere all around once we get that in there be sure to secure it you want to hold it usually for a little while this is some fast acting glue so I'm not that worried about it I would probably hold it a little bit longer though if, um, if I wasn't too used to it take your wire cutters set it to the right spot but be sure to hold both sides I usually use one hand grab the bottom of the paper clip and the top of whatever you're cutting off otherwise uh, things can go flying everywhere all right so I'm pressing this in to leave an indentation into the horned hunters torso that's gonna give me a guide where I can drill in now that that is fitting add a little bit of glue let that sit and we got the head of Krampus looking pretty good all right now we're gonna work on the bone so this one I'm gonna go ahead and drill through here first and put a pin in now that we have the pin in I'm gonna take the bones and drill into each one of those now this is very thin to begin with so you you want to be very very careful start slowly make sure you've got the right spot and drill down to a good spot that you feel comfortable with glue that in place and then we'll do the bottom part again the diameter of the bone is only a little bit wider than the diameter of the pin itself. So take your time with this. Be very, very careful. But now we have our nice little reindeer bone. Krampus might have been chewing on Dancer or Prancer, Blitzen, I don't know. But now we'll work on the whip. Okay. Same steps. We'll go ahead and pin into the whip itself first. And the reason I do this is the smaller pieces are usually easier to configure around than the larger ones. So it gives for an easier guide point. And we'll glue this one in to the new drilled spot on the other hand of Krampus. There we go. Everything looks good. I went ahead and glued the sword onto Krampus' back and he's ready to be primed. All right, now we're gonna work on Santa Claus. He should be fairly easy. All right, again, starting with the smaller piece, we'll drill directly into the ax Take your pin, clip it off, and get a marker for our drill. Now guys, again, these pins are not very long. You just want something to hold. All right, and that looks good. So. Santa with his axe. I think we've got a pretty good name for it. And then we've got Krampus with his whip and his bone. Looks like they're ready to be primed and painted. And here they are, Krampus, who has gone to the North Pole, killed a few of Santa's reindeer and one of his oldest friends, the Abominable Snowman reigning terror all over the North Pole. 
Santa, Saint Nicholas himself, picking up the axe and naming it the Abominable after his fallen friend hunts down Krampus, ready to save Christmas once and for all. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. It's all about kit bashing. Fairly easy to do. Give it a shot with things that you want to customize. If you have old pieces, put them together. Bash things up. So, until next time, be sure to like and subscribe. And always remember, paint and minis always roll better.